Hello and welcome to this quick video which will give you an overview of the assessment process for AWE Early Careers. AWE is delighted to be partnering with Spotted Zebra this year. Spotted Zebra believe that just like a zebra has a unique pattern of stripes, every person has a unique set of skills. We help our clients to understand the innate skills and abilities that people have so that they can match people with the right skills to the right role, ensuring that both the person and the organization are a good fit for each other. Research has shown that well-designed psychometric tools combined with structured interviews are the best and fairest selection methods. So why assessment and what are we looking to discover about candidates? By doing an online assessment for the role you've applied for, you'll have the ability to demonstrate what makes you unique and why you're right for this role. We are aiming to determine whether your skills align with the skills required. This is an early careers program, so we know that you'll be developing your skills and learning new ones when in role, but it's important that you have the basic foundation so that you'll be set up for success. The important thing is to be honest, so that we can see what makes you unique and what your pattern of spots and stripes look like. This slide shows the journey that a candidate will go on when applying for one of the early career schemes at AWE. You'll make your initial application through the AWE website. You'll then complete assessments online that are specific to the scheme you're applying for. If you pass the assessment stage, you will be invited to attend an online assessment centre. We'll now talk through each stage in a bit more detail and give you a sense of what the process looks like. After clicking apply, you'll be asked to sign in or make a new account if it's your first application with AWE. You'll then be prompted to upload your CV before answering some initial application questions. Assuming you meet the necessary requirements, you will then move on to the assessment phase. When you are invited to complete the assessment, you will receive an email that looks like this, asking you to accept the invitation in order to start the assessment process. Click on Accept Invitation and you will be prompted to create login details. You will then get an overview of which type of tests you will have to complete. You will have a combination of different assessments depending on the role you have applied for. Each assessment and its questions have been tailored to the specific role you are applying for. The personality test is not timed and you can start completing it by clicking on the personality tab. After clicking on it, you will see some instructions and a quick overview of what the test will entail. Please click on start now and the test will begin. The personality test will then ask you to rate how strongly you agree or disagree with a specific statement. Again, the personality testament is not timed and there are no right or wrong answers. Once you've completed the personality test, the system will bring you back to the dashboard. The dashboard will indicate how many tests you have left to complete. You don't have to complete all tests at once, but can leave some for later if that's more convenient for you. The rest of the tests all have a practice run, so please make sure you practice in order to familiarize yourself with the type of test before you begin the actual test. The practice test does not count into your score. The tests are timed and the dashboard will indicate how much time you have for each question. After your practice run, click on start now and the real test will begin. The test might look like this depending on which test you have to complete. And in the upper right corner, you will see how much time you have left to answer each question. Once you've completed all tests, the system will notify you with a message like this and you can click on close tests. Candidates who are successful in getting through the psychometric assessment stage will receive an invitation to attend a virtual assessment centre. This will give you all the information you need to prepare and let you know how to join on the day. The assessment centre will include some interviews and a group exercise. There will also be the opportunity for you to ask some questions and get to know more about AWE. So what are we looking for? Apart from the qualification requirements that you need to apply, it's important for us to determine what strengths you have and what soft skills you'll be bringing into the role. For example, do you work well with others? Are you organised? And do you have a problem-solving mindset? When doing the assessment, find a quiet room where you can concentrate and won't be interrupted. Read all the instructions carefully and take your time. For the reasoning tests, there are practice questions that you can do before starting so you can get the hang of the types of questions you'll be asked. If a numerical reasoning test is included in your assessment, you will need a calculator. For the personality questionnaire, it is important for you to be yourself and just go with your gut. Picture yourself in the role you've applied for 
and answer the questions according to how you anticipate you will behave in the role. If you would like feedback on your assessment, you can request a feedback report at the end of the process. This report will give you an understanding of how well your skills are aligned with the skills we're looking for in the programme. It can also help you to learn more about yourself, your strengths and any areas that you can focus on developing. If you require feedback, then this can be requested by emailing us at candidate at spottedzebra.co.uk. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and good luck with your application.